I'm happy that some of you guys decided to go to this class. Um, we're going to do a lot of legwork drills in the beginning, and then I will add one very nice uh, guard pass I really like to do, and feel like, especially, it's, it's more a gi thing, it's a little bit less uh, effective in no gi, but I love it, and it translates to a lot of different setups. Okay, uh, let's start straight. Let's come to me, Mr. Aaron. Don't tell me what to do, let's go down. No, <laughs> you're not my real dad. <laughs> For this class, I am. <laughs> Okay, let's start here. Aaron has two hooks, okay, on my knees. Hips low, chest up, okay, try to be not like this. Relaxing position, okay. So just keep your hands like this, don't need to grab, okay. The first one, I move my knee to the inside and my arm changes to the side, look. So I do this, I circle my leg and I step to the inside, okay. Don't need to be super tight on him. Uh, it's really important to have good base, okay. So good base, hips low, chest up. The hands cupped like this. Okay, remember when I was teaching the Perimbolo class, like this Mantis grip? Boom, that's the grip I want to have. Okay, like this. So, next up, I move my right leg closer to his leg. Closer, I circle my leg. Okay, you see circling my leg to my butt. And now I step against his shin, pushing the leg down. Okay, so I'm here. Good base again. I move back in, my knee touches like his shin and I step back in, okay? Hips low. Now, I move my left leg to the inside, like this, and I push his leg to the outside as I step, okay? Now I'm here, Aaron brings the legs back in. Same thing to the other side. So I move, and up here. I circle my leg, and up here. Come back in, I'm here, and then knee circle, I'm there. One more time, knee, circle. Circle my heel to this position, come back in, circle my knee, back in. Okay, you get two minutes to try it out and then we'll switch top to bottom. Three, two, one, let's go. This drill or this leg position will be our start for like to set up all the different kinds of guard passes we're using. But first I want to differentiate between two different leg circles. Okay, So one I would call a knee circle, the other one I would call actually the leg circle or if you want a heel circle. Okay, So the difference is one time, Okay, let, let's start with the, the, the heel circle, one time my knee stays where it is, right? and I circle my heel, right? And the second one is, okay, I don't care about my bottom leg, I care about my knee. So my knee is moving around, I'll show you that. And let's drill that, actually. Let's start with the harder part, okay? Very simple, don't need to go, go reverse the lever or something, just have the leg relaxed here, get the grip on the knee, and one grip here, okay? We're not focusing now on how to pass, it's just, a drill to get the leg work in, okay? So look what I do. First, first up is the knee. You see his leg, right? So I move my knee closer to him, okay? Closer to him. Now my knee goes slightly over, pushes against, pushes his leg down, the leg circles to the inside, step. You see, I was using my knee. I'll show you right away the second option. I place my leg, and now, what was the heel one? The knee stays, right? So look. You see, we have different outcomes, and that's very important, okay? The one time, I'm moving the leg here, I circle the knee in, and then I step back to get good base. For sure, I can adjust and whatever, but now I need to get my base back, because I'm like this, balancing on one leg, right, circling the knee, and then I come back and have good base. On the second one, I keep my knee where it is, I circle my leg, and now I'm here. That's not a good base, okay? And it's hard for me to go inside of him. So what do I do? Step the other leg back to have good base again. Okay, so you see, one time I'm circling the knee and I come back. On the second one, I bring my knee and I circle my heel and I go to the outside. Okay? With which one do you want to start? Knee or heel? Knee. Knee? Okay, let's start with the knee. So you're here, just have a, a nice grip, don't lean too much on him. Okay, so I'm here, good base. 
I bring my knee closer, circle. You can't step, doesn't need to be, in a, you don't need to step now. Move back and get back in. Circle, boom. Circle, boom, boom. Okay, you get here, knee, step. Try to step close to this leg, like in the calf. One more time. So I'm here, so I'm here, circle, boom. Come back, circle, boom. Don't do this. Okay, it's just the knee. The leg goes up a little bit because it has to follow the knee, but it's not this. Got it? Let's do that. One minute, one side, one minute, the other side, and then we switch top to bottom. Three, two, one. I show you one more time the heel circle now because we do now the, the second one. Just one more time as a as a review uh, the knee circle. So I'm here try to have good base. Okay, hips like I'm sitting loose in my hips. Okay, so I'm here. I move the knee. The knee circles the leg. You see that I'm pushing the leg into kind of a leg drag position. And now I want to step closer because if I step here, it's easy for him to do something with his legs. So I kind of really want to hook this leg and pin this leg to the mat. That's what, that would be nice, okay? If we progress for a pass, for example, we can even hide this leg, don't need to stand like this, okay? For the drill, it's perfectly fine. So we're here, okay? I use the knee, a circle, I come back in. Okay? And as you're here, I'm kind of almost in a line with him, just jump back, okay? If you wanna make it a little bit of a better drill out of it, don't do this. And then one more time, okay? You'll be here, using the knee, boom, step back and come back forward, okay? Good for the legs. <laughs> so, now I'm here, my knee gets closer. As I get closer, I use this grip a little bit. You see, let's say uh, it gets more important when he has a hook like this, okay? Because, can you stay tight? If I do this, the hook won't go up. Eventually, if I extend my leg, but we don't want to extend now, okay? So, this, that, that, that's hard. Just using the hand is hard. But if I use both, I release his hook, right? So that's what I kind of do here without him holding me. So as you can see, as my leg, I should start like this, as my leg comes here, I have the, the connection, my heel circles, step, step back. Hips low again. Okay, just be relaxed. Don't, don't be too much under tension. And some of you guys do like this. Don't need to, just stay loose in the hips. Okay, I move back, I come back in. Sa, boom, I come back in, boom, I come back in, boom, come back in, boom, come back in. Okay, you see I need to step this leg a little bit. It would be hard for me to have, for example, a leg like this and then just circle this leg. Then I need to lean too much on him. Okay, I want to be light with my legs. So I need to transfer my weight a little bit to here. So it's much easier. But then I have to bring the leg back because otherwise my balance is bad. Because I'm here and he just catches my legs and I drop. Okay, one minute each side and then switch. Three, two, one. Yes. <laughs> Is it tiring to do it? <laughs> Perfect. If not, go harder. <laughs> okay. Uh, stay low with the hips. Okay. If you can do that for three minutes, think about uh, how easy it is to do it in a fight. Or let's say even six minutes and you have a five minute fight. Boom. Okay. Like a schnitzel. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Does anyone not understand now what a, why, uh, what a knee circle is and what a heel circle is for me? Anyone still has a problem with that? Okay, so the one thing is I'm really using the knee to push around, see, the leg, so I can dive underneath the leg. And on the second one, my knee stays, my knee stays, and I'm circling the leg. One thing on the second technique now, um, don't try to be too much like this. 
okay? I'm starting here in this position. That's, that's actually a very common position to be in, okay? It's, so this would be reverse de la Riva, so you already give it a name, and then you feel like, oh, I don't know nothing about reverse de la Riva, so I, I forget that. Then, oh, okay, that's half guard. That's just standing in the middle of his guard, okay? But that's like a very common situation. And just try to feel comfortable there, okay? Don't feel like uh, you need to go to a certain position. That's very good, a good setup here. The most important thing is that you're not standing with the legs like this, or like this, or like this, okay? So try to have a good base. It's easy for me to react on everything what he does, okay? I can just move with my, with my legs left to right. So now let's use the first drill from the beginning to set up a guard pass. Um, I can show you then three setups, like two different um, angles where we shoot in, and it's always the same pass. There are other options from there, so if you have the questions, but I could do this or I could do this, okay? Forget that about now, okay? I just want to show you the one, like the same single pass, and it works very well for me. Okay, so let's start here in this scenario. I circle the knee in and I come to this place, okay? Remember that I told you to control the knee like this? If I just have the leg like this, like this, too easy for him to step somewhere, okay? And I don't wanna sit too low because if he's pushing me back, I'm gonna fall, okay? So hips low, like this. I attach my elbow, my legs, the legs cupped like this, okay? It's hard for him to pull the leg or, or step somewhere, okay? And if he does, I can even use my body to move this, I don't need to work with my hand. Okay, so I'm like this, good position. Let's start with a very simple first one. Most of you guys know it's like a, a knee slide. Okay, so I'm here, okay, I move to the side and I shoot my knee in, okay? What happens a lot of times, the guy uses the knee. Okay, if the knee's gone, easy. Okay, even if it, get, if it gets the underhook, it's annoying, right? But eventually we can handle that because we're not too far in, we're just shooting in. But this could be super annoying. It's pushing me away, I can't uh, control the position. So what I actually do is like this. So we are here, okay? And as I'm here, I place my knee, I wanna touch the ground, okay? And I catch the collar grip. So I'm here, boom, knee to the ground, good base, collar grip. He can have his knee, okay? So he will try, uh, try to push me, and now a very important part, don't sit back. Okay, you feel lower maybe, but it's easier for him to off-balance you. I wanna touch my knee on the mat, sorry, and I wanna lean over him. So he's trying to push me away with his knee, and I'll be here. Elbow tight, so he's not going underneath or attacking the arm. That's the position where I want to be. Push the leg in for now, okay? You can even hold yourself, now it should be super hard for him to push me away, even with his knee. But don't sit back. Don't sit like this, super low. He'll push you back. Sit onto him. like. Uh, some of you know this, um, this idea of if someone is in half guard, I don't want him to be on, the, on one shoulder, right? I want him to be like flat. That's kind of the same thing I'm trying to do. So I'm here, I have this grip, and I lean onto him, I'm kind of pushing his shoulders to the mat. It's way more uncomfortable for him to react on, uh, up on that, okay? And now, same pass with every setup I show you today. I have this collar grip, very important. If you don't have the collar grip, it's getting harder. That's why I said it's more for the gi. Okay, so good collar grip. And now my second hand. Okay, uh, let's see how I do that. Okay, turn. Okay. My second hand, first you hold yourself somewhere. Okay, and now this hand wants to get a grip on this leg. Okay, how do I do that? I slide and I catch the leg. Okay, and now I switch my shoulder going onto his hip tripod and I'm controlling the bottom leg. This hand doesn't need to push his face. Just stay as tight as possible so he's not going underneath or pulling on my elbow. I want to be here. That's a very good position, okay? The most important part here is don't care about the top leg. The top leg doesn't matter, okay? Forget the top leg. The bottom leg. The bottom leg is the most annoying part, okay? So I wanna control the leg, not like here, but here as good as possible having this grip pushing it away, okay? So I'll be here, my shoulder's here, tripod. And now you can tell your partner, try to regard or something. Eric? You see that? I just keep my tripod, I keep my shoulder pressure, just tripod, stay tight, and then right knee to the inside, and the end of inside control. One more time. So I go here, boom. I enter this position, knee to the floor, smash the leg, just hold yourself. 
And now comes the part, put my hand exactly on this side of the grip. Don't slide too far, because if you don't have the grip, he's pulling the knee and now it gets annoying. Okay, if the, if the bottom knee is between me and him. If my knee is still here, and he tries to pull the knee, okay, you see he needs to create much more space and has to go around my leg. So I'm here, I catch this leg, I move my shoulder to the hip. That's the position where I want to be. Tripod, good control, pushing against him. Okay, now he can do something like put the, the knee closer to your chest. Nice. Okay, if he tries to pull the top knee, okay, no, 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 just pull, it, pull the knee tight. Okay, it doesn't matter because he can just move more north south. And if he hooks the leg like Aaron did, it doesn't matter. Okay, you can kick it out or you can, can you, oh, oh my God, yeah. Settle down, relax a little bit, control the position, and then get out. Knee in, side control. Okay, I love this one. Last time, super slow. One. I go here, squeeze, I hold. I try to get the grip here. Slide with my shoulder. Really go from here all the way to here. Tripod, push the leg away, stretch him. Right knee comes in first. You can pick him up if you want to. You can just underhook and stay inside control. Okay? Yes, sir. Would a head grip be okay with Nogi? Yeah, so if I would do a Nogi, place my hand like either with the fist or like this on this leg, right? Right? That's what I would do. But that's hard to hold. If he's strong, he's pushing you away and it's really hard to control the head. But that would be a goal. You okay? What'd you say? You can do the pass though. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. It's almost like a crazy dog pass or something. Okay? Three, two, one. Let's try that. Okay, so the most important detail most of you guys forget is to place the shoulder. So up until this point, everything is fine. Um, can you turn a little bit? It's hard to grab right away in the inside. Don't do this. <laughs> I can't slide now. Okay, so what I do is I have my hand here. So in case I can't reach it, I will just circle the hand in and then it's kind of the no version. And then I grab, right? That's the goal. I want to control this leg, as I said, not here, because if he pulls the knee, it's very hard for me to hold that this way, okay? It's so much easier to use my palm and push this leg like this away when I have a tripod, okay? So look, I'm here. I grab as I slide and I switch my shoulders. Some of you tend to be too much like this or pulling too much with the elbow, okay? I don't know if you know it, but if he's Pulling on my elbow and no, no, no. yeah, that, that's fine too. Pull the elbow on the other side. Yeah, that's it. Okay, I might roll. Okay, if it catches my elbow and pulls me over. Okay, so I don't want to push against his face. He will push against his face if he tries to turn. Okay, I just turn it one more time. I want to lean this all the way tight to him. Attach like this. Now it's hard for him to go underneath. Okay, or to pull my elbow. My, elbow, my sh shoulder goes straight here on the hips, not over the hips, into the hips, okay? That's the position where I want to be. Not too close to the legs, and don't do this. Okay, now your body is twisted, okay? Stay parallel to the ground. Hips up, okay, so you have good pressure. You can move him like a little bit, uh, stretch him apart, okay? He tries to use the top knee, okay? It's fine, doesn't matter. Okay, he can try that, whatever. Knee tight, that's the number one thing you should do, okay? Because now I'm connecting to him. It's so much easier now, okay? I could even let go of this leg because it's hard for him to pull this leg, okay? I can focus on the other hook. Now I show you the same pass from a different setting, okay? So I'm here, I go all the way to here, but for some reason I don't want to go to the inside, so I decide to go to the outside. Okay, now I'm all the way to the outside on the one drill we did, right? So I go to the inside, I go to the outside, and now I have the same position, okay? You can just catch the collar and lean in, and he uses the knee. It's the same thing, okay? I'm just not in half guard, I'm, I was controlling the shin. See like this? 
squeeze the knee and stay tight. He can push, okay, try to lean over him. Don't sit back, not too much, just so the knee's heavy. Like, I want to have my base like right over him. Okay, so I'm here, heavy. Catch leg, now it's easier to catch leg. Move the shoulder to the hip, pushing him away, controlling the leg. Same thing. Place my leg, and you can get the side control one more time. So I'm, I'm here in this position. I slide in, slide to the outside. Boom. Okay, just get lower here, place the knee, catch. You can try to push this away. Usually people push that to the front. Okay, maybe, like, I, this is the most annoying. Elbow and knee, closer to the shoulder. That's what I feel like it's the hardest to break. Most people don't do that. They, they just keep the knee somewhere here, so easy to smash. Just boom, push it down, hold it, heavy. Okay, grab the leg. Move, trap up. Okay, and tell the guy on bottom to move. Okay, uh, as soon as you feel comfortable. I can say, Aaron, okay, move. <laughs> okay, if he tries to move, I try to hold him. Okay, you cannot lose the position. So as you see, I'm using my legs. If he tries to pull me over and I stay like this, or I stay like this, can you pull me over? I fall like a bad schnitzel. You don't want to be a bad schnitzel. So stay here, the base with the legs. You can even go north south if you need to. Or move more this way, using the shoulder. Try to hold him. It's very important that you feel comfortable here. Okay? Three, two, one. Let's go. Okay, uh, I show you one last, one last entry. Okay, um, it's basically the same as a knee slide, but just behind the leg. Then people would call it leg weave, or maybe some call it smash pass, whatever. Okay, whatever you want to call it, we want to go to this position and have the exact same grips. Okay, for sure, when I'm here and I have the underhook, I'm not gonna go back to the leg, unless I feel like the, the bottom leg is a real threat to me, right? So, uh, always keep in mind that you have different options, okay? That's just one situation where I feel like no matter how you set it up, there's always a chance for you to get it, okay? And if you control the bottom leg, that's super strong. Okay, bottom leg, collar grip. You have to fight for the grips. Uh, so, it won't be that easy always to get the collar grip, but I can tell you, it's getting way, way more easy to pass if you have the collar grip. Okay, so what we do now is like this. I circle in and for some reason, uh, maybe I wanna do the knee slide or I wanna even circle out, but Aaron's kind of using this knee to the inside somehow. I, I feel like I can't shoot in or there's no space here. Okay, it's not possible for me to shoot in. Okay, so, the, <laughs> okay. Like I used schnitzel here somewhere. Okay, so uh, what, what I do is now, I don't go this way, okay. I use this leg behind this leg and I go to the inside. I wanna slide over here, okay? Don't need to hook, like can you turn a little bit? Don't need to, get your leg Don't need to hook the leg here, okay? Just slide now in, just relax, okay? Slide in, I end up in this position, okay? Try to have the underhook, if not, it doesn't matter, okay? What's again important, who knows it? Yes. Collar grip. I need to have the collar grip. If he's fighting the collar grip, it gets way harder for me to pass, okay? So I need to get the collar grip. You can do that after you slide it in or as you slide in. Sometimes, not always, sometimes I even grab first, okay? But grabbing first can sometimes be dangerous, okay? So it's fine if you do like the legwork drills and I'm a little bit more far from him, that I move him to the side, get the collar grip, slide in, I get to this position. Can you move it? Oh, like this. So I have the collar grip, and now what do I do? <clears throat> I kind of square up a little bit with him. My knee's on the floor. He can't use the knee to pull the knee closer. Perfect. Catch the pants. Switch. Hips, shoulder, okay. Again, I don't push against him, I just use my shoulder. 
the leg's still in. I mean, you could do a knee bar bar, but I'm not sure if that works always. <laughs> it's like too easy for him to move the leg, okay? We could do it though. So I'm here, turn a little. I'm here and I just kick the leg out. I have the tripod position, same technique as before. Pushing the leg away, having a good collar grip. Okay, tell the guy on bottom to kind of move in any direction, whatever. Try to keep the base, keep the balance. And finish the pass. One more time. So I'm here, I circle in. I go to this position. Switch. Go. Kick. Tripod, don't stay here after the kick. Tripod, okay, parallel to the ground. I'm controlling him. And I go to side control. Yes. How dare you. I'm gonna smash him now. Because he tried to off-balance me before, right? <laughs> so I'm here. He told me. <laughs> so I'm here, collar grip, switch, pitch the leg, spin, tripod, knee close, end up in side control. Okay? If it's too complicated already for you, do one of the first two. It's the same pass, okay? If, that's more, if that fits more your game, that's fine. If you want to try this, very nice option, same technique. Three, two, one. Let's go, last technique. Okay, what did we do? We did the leg circles, okay, going in and out all the way. Uh, we got the, uh, we understand now the, differ, uh, the difference between circling the leg underneath, circling the leg to the outside. Okay, it just gives us, us a different opportunity to pass the guard, okay? Just create it, uh, creates a different situation. If I wanna move him all the way to this side, like playing guard to the wrong side, or if I wanna face him blocking this leg, okay? There are tons of passes you can add to that. Uh, what we did was, no matter which knee we put to the floor, like from the, all the way to the outside, from the inside, or even leg weave, like uh, going underneath the leg to the inside, most common situation is the knee. If the knee is away, okay, fight for the underhook. Okay, it's easier. As long as you're not like too much like this, sliding in and he's grabbing the back, here I can still posture, try to get the underhook back, and then eventually I will just do a knee side. Okay, if he has the knee in, okay, and you wanna stay in the position, what do you need? The collar, okay? Good collar grip, don't sit back, lean into him. That's a very strong position. Okay, you can be super heavy even without grabbing the leg, just controlling him here, okay? And if you get the chance, if you find yourself in sparring at the camp sometime, okay, and you feel like you're in a similar situation to that, no matter what it looks like, try to have a collar grip or even a deeper head grip if you like to, uh, and grab the pants, okay? Try that out. I feel like for me, the bottom leg is more of a threat than the top leg, okay? The top leg is controlling the distance very well as long as he is as he is in a guard, but as soon as I'm out, okay, it's very easy for me to pass if I'm controlling the bottom leg, okay? Way, much, uh, way more harder if I control the top leg and I try to pass now, okay? Uh, do you have any questions about that? Okay, one question. Yes. Uh, at the start, when he, can he push your head down, like before you uh, get the collar? Because his hand is free. Okay, like where? If it's like a smash and, smash and pass, right? So if I go here and you mm -hmm. push my head down, it's like all the way down. Oh, yeah, 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 for with, sure. With uh, like a wrestler's stuff. So that, that's what I said. When you're here, mm -hmm. like in this position, right, you could shoot first, like using the knee a little bit higher, and then try to fight for the collar grip. You can stay here. Like usually when both people know where they are, it ends up being like more this position with the hook, right? Mm -hmm. The hook means that both of us, it's like half guard, but first floor, okay? Now both of us can do stuff, okay? He can sweep me, he can submit me, same thing goes for me, okay? So here, it's more a grip fight now, okay? I'm, I saddle a little bit, I try to find the perfect grip, he will fight uh, with his hands to defend the grip, he will eventually start to push my head, okay? So if he's pushing my head away, and I can't get rid of the grip and still be in the position, I try to re-get the grip, right? If you're just here, okay, I feel like it's, he could get the collar grip, right? But if he gets the collar grip and he doesn't watch out, I eventually get the grip too, okay? If he tries to push on my head now and I kind of fall in, it might, might do nothing, right? But if you for sure go here, like in this position, and he has the knee, okay, and he tries to push the head down, it's something and you don't do anything, now it's, it's super hard, okay? 
Now eventually you can move the legs back, start to do maybe the uh, over under series from, uh, from Aaron, if you have been to the class. Okay, all kinds of stuff like that. Okay, so then you need to connect to something else if it's not working, right? But uh, I recommend to fight for the collar rib. So don't dive in too deep or go like here or something like this if you don't have a collar grip. Because if he has the knee, he's pushing you away easily. He doesn't even need to push my head, okay? If he does a good job and I don't get the collar grip, like here, and he's just extending the leg, he's pushing me away. Now it's harder for me to get closer. Okay? Is it answered or? Yeah, yeah. Uh, anything else? Yes? Yeah. Do you tend to go to the weave or do you don't do this anymore? He has a real like strong reverse cellar heave. It actually depends a little bit. Okay. So uh, I'm not a fan of uh, just one pass, so I would kind of try to connect a little bit more techniques and see where it goes. Okay, so not in a sense that I just do random techniques then, but let's say I have like three different techniques with certain grips. I will try to combine them and see what's his reaction. Okay, if he has the leg like this, very strong, and he's not letting me shuffle the leg to the other side, because for the leg weave, I kind of need to push this leg somewhere to here. Okay, so if he has the leg heavy here, or focusing a lot on this side, can you put that away, and I can't get a leg up, I don't force it. Okay, why would I go like so hard to attack this one pass when I can make it easier? Okay, I eventually can like start to attack the knee slide, okay? Now he doesn't have space, he tries to lift me, eventually tries to go for uh, the underhook here. Like, uh, I'm gonna that. like this, right, to push me over, whatever, and you end up shifting the hips and end up in this position, whatever, okay? Doesn't need to be the underhook. But uh, that's a nice drill actually, when you're here and he starts, don't use the hands, just lift me with the leg. Lift me with the leg. Yeah, other side to go back in, he's pushing with the leg, and you feel that it's coming, you can easily, boom, switch to the other side using your hips. Doesn't make sense? So uh, it's easier to do it a little bit with him reacting onto one of my attacks, okay, and giving me the perfect opportunity to go there instead of forcing it, okay? When I force it, I probably stay here. Because now I feel like I have the momentum and the, uh, my weights on, on my side to slide in, pull all my weight there. But if the leg's all the way here, it's much harder then I need to kind of make him move this leg for, this way first, okay? For example, if the leg's like this, that's sometimes hard to do, but if I can control this leg a little bit and I extend the leg, it's like an over-under pass, a little bit, right? Where I could shoot in. But instead of then going to the over-under pass, I just slide all the way to the other side and I end up here, okay? So it really connects to all the series Aaron was showing. Okay? Anything else? No? Okay. And thank you for the class. I hope you enjoyed it.